right, guys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. I think we've got a pretty good chain battle setup going on right here. Um, so I think that this chain battle seems fine. I mean, basically what we're looking for here, we want Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, um, and then we specifically want the Saiyan Saga Vegetas. Um, I, I, honestly, both setups seem pretty good. Um, I mean, we have the Dokkan Butoed and SSR. I mean, we could certainly get the TUR there or LR Great Ape Vegeta's TUR or something like that. Um, on the LR Super Saiyan 4 side, I mean, we're looking good. But, I mean, in LR Super Saiyan 4 is not rainbowed on sort of like the friend um, supporters. So, let's go ahead and see. Um, I Is this going to be a tough top 1% for a lot of people? Probably not. I, I, I don't know. Because Super Saiyan 4 Goku... Pretty much is only like a Dokkan Fest exclusive or LR type character, but we're talking very old Super Saiyan 4 Gokus, right? Second and fourth anniversary are not exactly recent. Oh, we, oh wow. Yeah, perfect. Look at that. Bottom right. Oh, that... I was too slow. Oh, dude, that's such a bummer. That kills... That kills the score. Oh, no. I... Did I not... I didn't do that in time? Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. Damn, the score, that, that, that murders the score. I, I think I, I've seen that it's it's even more important to do that part fast than even get, like, similar type characters. 132, would that have broken my top score? I'm not even sure. I believe 138, yeah, 138 is, is the, the high score I've gotten. I don't think that that was going to break that. So the top score I got um, was just, again, Super Saiyan 4 Gokus. A couple of non-Rainbow Super Saiyan 4s in there. And then down here, this Vegeta lineup, uh, Great Ape, Great Ape, Great Ape. Yeah, okay. I mean, this this Vegeta lineup was definitely better than the one we just had. I think, which is which is a big portion. All right, let's take a look at what some of the the higher level scores are. I would imagine there's got to be some players that have broken 150 by now. Eh, maybe. Here's a 147. All right, let's see. So. Yeah, I believe that the tech full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku, like, is really, really good for this. I mean, it does make sense because that Super Saiyan 4 Goku, he has so many categories and stuff like that. Like, it, it and of course, he's easy aid. Remember that these um, Dokkan Fest TUR easy aid characters with their huge stats really gives you um, sort of increased scores. Wait a minute. Tech full power. Wait, wait. Is, is that the meta? No, there's an LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Another LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku right there. Uh, I was just wondering. I mean, the highest score we're seeing has tech full power. There's another one. Mm, I wonder if the, the tech full power is actually the best um, attacker for us. I think either are good. I mean, there's the three really good Super Saiyan 4 Gokus for this. The tech one, the in LR, and then, of course, the EGL Dokkan Fest LR. Um, and then we've also got that. Yeah, another tech Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm almost curious. Let me see if I can find a, a decent setup real quick. Uh, let, let's just do one run with Tech Super Saiyan 4. Let's see if we can get a higher score. Just just real quick, one extra run. Yeah, you know, I'm looking through. I'm not really finding a lot of great, uh, like, Vegeta lineups here, right? Like, I don't... Uh, do I want to go for that bottom one there? I mean, we have all the different forms of L uh, LR graded Vegeta on this one. But this is a full rainbow lineup. Maybe we'll we'll try this one out. I'm not really too sure because it's like any lineup that has like a Turles or a Raditz or a Nappa is just a no go for what I'm looking for, right? And it's like look at these lineups. I mean, Turles, King Vegeta, Turles, Nappa. Like these are just not what I'm looking for here. Okay, that's fine. We'll go ahead. And, we'll, let's just see what this score does right here. Wait. Oh no, the whole purpose. God damn it. I meant to put tech full power as our main attacker. I, I actually think I do have one more stone I could use. So hold on. I guess we're going to get a third run in. Thank God for the pause recording. I updated my OBS. I got that pause recording feature. Bro, my life has changed. Like, I, I feel like the quality of my shitty videos is going to go up a little bit. Oh, wait. Let's just quickly move here. <laughs> yeah, let me not let me not screw up again. That was actually pretty good. We got uh, AGL, LR, LR, and it's DUR. And then we got the in LR right here. This... Besides our Vegeta lineup, I feel like we're looking at a pretty good score here. All right, let's see. Um, I would like to get into the 140s just to be safe. 
Um, I mean, I feel like we probably already have top one. Wow, that's way off the, sc the high score I had. Um, we're probably safe in top 1%, but I, I think I would like to get just a little bit higher. Um, okay, let me just remember to put Tech Full Power as our lead this time. Uh, psych, I actually am out of refreshes. Okay, well, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Uh, oopsie. Oops. Whoops. <laughs> well, I mean, we, we see, we see, we see, we see. Uh, the one thing, the, the, okay, so again, I, I've mentioned this. Oh, there is a 150 right there. Okay, let's take a look what we got. Um, so both versions of Tech Super Saiyan 4 are in there. The STR, the EGL LR, the INT LR. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, oh, look, there's Spartanek. And let's see. Bro, why... Uh, the game is not giving me that lineup from Spartanek. This is crazy. I mean, this is good. This, this means if I keep my eye out, eventually the game is going to give me that good Vegeta. That's... Yeah, that is a good Vegeta lineup right there. The only nitpick is just that this maybe TUR Vegeta will be rainbowed. I, I think what's super important for the Vegeta side is that you have the Great Apes. Right, so, um, well, I, I clicked the wrong one, but it's it's LR Grade Ape, the EGL TUR Grade Ape, and then the SSR Grade Ape. Remember that the TUR and SSR Grade Ape Vegetas are only regular Vegeta. He's only Grade Ape in his LR form. Okay, um, yeah, we this is something we definitely can match. Um, not bad, not bad. All right, um, let's go ahead and grab some uh, delicious, fantastic uh, skill orbs. Uh, at this point in the video, this is where I can, uh, chastise the naughty global players who did not pay attention, um, to the anniversary event, which was coming up, right? Um, and, you know, your 8th anniversary LRs, you could just give them, e like, you know, filler EX skill orbs for now, and then you get either their best equipments in the game later towards the end of the anniversary. So remember, th this has been updated. This is awesome. So this is, like, sort of like the, what, what used to be the guaranteed gold orbs, but now there's also a, the, the same one right here. This is the same thing. But now there's a second chest right here that gives you premium silver and bronze. This is so good. If I wanted to really nitpick, I would ask that they split it into a bronze, silver, and gold. But it, it's just we are more in need of silver and gold orbs than, or uh, excuse me, silver and bronze more so than gold. Because remember the 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 orbs from Extreme Super Battle Road are still pretty good. Like there's a lot of different avenues i've found with gold orbs being easier right so th this is good um i i do wish that they could further push the skill orb system right and actually begin to give us interesting things like what if you had a gold skill orb that you know would give you i don't know three crit and then a second ability which is all allies on rotation one key or something like that like i i think that that would be such a nice change for this um, all right. Well, not really a great start. I mean, this is a three dodge. We'll take that. This is a one additional and two super attack boost. I mean, I could use that for like, you know, sub easy A's, free to play level type characters, I guess. And then this is just this, a seven. Oh my God. So they have added sevens into here. Uh, here, let me, I, I guess I'll, this is going to take a long time. I'll, I'll pause real quick. Yeah. Look at this. So we have sevens now. That's that's so crazy. Okay. So we have up to like seven defense we can give. Now remember, as part of that anniversary event that I referenced earlier, um, I know that the eighth anniversary LRs, they can get level eight bronze defensive equips. I remember I chose not to give them to mine because I wanted to maximize their spirit bomb damage, but like that is an ability. Oh brother, here we go. Level five crit. Yup, of course. I've talked about this a lot, but I the game loves giving me these, and I almost never use these. I, they will never, ever, they could never do it no matter what character trading because people mod the shit out of this game and stuff like that. Like, there's no way, no idea you can come up with where trading could ever work. But, like, trading equips is something that could work because I know some of y'all have gotten some nasty level 5 dodge equips that you guys don't want to use. I would trade these level 5 crit equips for those dodge equips, man. Oh, I, I didn't look at the rest, but we actually got some other really good stuff right there. Okay, including some good bronze equips, which are always really important, I think. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, this is... Look at this. Level 5 dodge for silver. We'll take that. No, dude. It's a 4 crit and 1 dodge. Damn it. 2 dodge right there. Okay. We, that's one we just looked at. A 1 dodge. Come on. 
three additional two crit. I mean, that's pretty good, right? Maybe something like LR Final Form Cooler. This would be really good on. Um, I would say the 8th Anniversary LRs, but remember, they have their own exclusive equips. So, and, and their, their exclusive equips are way better than any other equips. Oh, my God. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, level 5 dodge. Give me another. No, it's a level 1. Damn it. Uh, oh, this is a big daddy right here. This is a three additional and four dodge. We love that. We do. We love that. That's maybe my favorite equip right there. Uh, four dodge right there. W. Two dodge. Okay. Uh, three crit, one dodge. Of course. Of course. Of course. I'll take the two additional for bronze. That's another uh, W uh, pull. Um, all right. So we can do 12. So let's just do two uh, pulls of six then. All right. What do we got? Uh, yeah. Dude, this game. They love giving me these crits. A two crit right there. That's a two crit as well. Yes! Five dodge. <laughs> we are winning. Uh, two additional, okay. And then a one additional. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, all right, a six pull, and then we are done. Give us some good stuff to end out on. Although I've been pretty content. Yeah, that, that counts. I'll take additionals. Four additional, one super attack type boost. Good. A three additional is awesome. And then one additional two crit. Yeah, we, we, we walked out of here with some good stuff like usual. It's pretty easy to not hate chain battle when um, you're just getting like really good equips and stuff like that constantly. So there we go. Uh, we see, you know, what is kind of like necessary to get some of the higher scores. We saw 150 in here. Um, that was the highest one we've seen. Yeah, seems like I, I, one addition, oh, I started to say this earlier, but I, I think I stopped talking about it. Um, I wish that they would show you, as a top 1% player, what the cutoff is to top 2%. I, I hate that they don't show that to you. Because, like, I don't know, maybe the cutoff is, like, 125 right now, and it's like, oh, I'm good. Like, I, if I chose to, I didn't, I wouldn't even have to play, right? Like, so, that would be a positive thing I think they could do. So, let me know what you guys think. Um... Uh, but I am now a chain battle lover, defender, supporter. Um, that's it. Call me Mr. Chain Battle because I love that shit.